Hi, Pisces. Well, we definitely have some interesting cards for you on the table. And I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. So, let's unpack. Our first card out, we have the Upside Down Empress, which the Empress is a very, very, very important energy in the world. She's the creator. She's the mother. She's the lover. She's upside down. That's not very good. She's upside down because of missed opportunities and moving in the possibly um, moving possibly the wrong way. This is about balancing the head and heart to come out instead as the upside down empress. The right side of Queen of Wands, which is about moving in manis or moving in manifestations and bossing up. We're gonna stop the old cycles from the past of moving into minds, not understanding ourselves and understanding the blessings of that duality. And exactly what that's there for. It isn't there to make you stand still. But instead for you to gain certain perspectives. So you don't miss these opportunities and turn your empress upside down. <sighs> We're seeing the truth. I feel like somebody's coming in and laying it on the table for you. Like an official type person. That's going to help you in this cycle of turning yourself upside down because you feel both sides so completely. So we're walking away from this and we're realizing that we feel so completely both sides. But we have to use our discernment about that love. Head and heart. I mean, two kings. The Queen of Pentacles is balanced. She's amazing. She is the quintessential wife, husband. Same thing with all the kings and queens, okay? So we have two kings upside down, or two kings right side up, and a queen of wands right side up. So what we're doing here is we're realizing that balancing the head and heart, especially when we move in the masculine energy to build, it allows us, this is the mini empress right here. Now over here we missed opportunities because, you know, we were probably moving on the wrong side of the head and heart, which is what Pisces is all about, chasing its little tail. We're figuring out that that cycle is there for a reason. Um, those ups and downs that you can see are there for a reason. So we're getting a new perspective on how we're moving here, all right? We're getting a new perspective on how we're moving and we're walking away from older things that no longer serve us. Our displaced passions has gotten us in trouble. And our choices of moving in those displaced passions. Over here, missed opportunities is the reflection of it. Making the wrong choices for your opportunities. So I see somebody that's gone inside and they're seeing... They're seeing the truth of this energy and why it's here. And they're coming out of the cold with this upside down emperor. Um, energy. They're seeing and moving in different ways. And that's what that duality energy is about. It's not about you not knowing which way to go. It's about understanding the path of each. 
and you have that ability. With the energy on the board right now, this kind of is also about us walking away from the truth of our core, the magical truth of our core, paying attention to less of the creation spirit wants you to bring for its purposes and you moving more in the ego that you wanted to bring for your purposes. We're seeing what that's done. And we're coming out of the Five of Pentacles because of this upside down emperor, this upside down empress energy. That means that for some people here, spirit has put you on your ass. Either by something that's been done to you in this way. Um, the people not being able to make indecisions or you get... Uh, uh, quite a few narcissistic controlling people in your life. Um, that's because you don't understand your power. That's because you don't understand the power of your own ability to understand when and where to move and how. Um, some Scorpios, or I'm sorry, some Pisces, um, They've made a choice just to walk away from love altogether and concentrate on the money, honey. And when they choose one mind and go forward, whether it be love or money, but if they're focused on money, they should stay away from love because, because of the way they move. They need to keep a focus. They need to remember to always temper their passions with love. As in physical passions. Which I think they have a hard time doing that because I think sometimes with Pisces, their passions take full bore here. And it's made them miss some divine opportunities with divine soulmates. And they're feeling that. And they're starting to walk away because they're, they're feeling that emptiness. They're ready to balance that shit and understand themselves. Which is a good thing. Some Pisces have already done this. They've already done this soul searching and they're moving. They've turned these emperor and empresses within them up or right side up. And they're starting to move in their power. Because this is about Phoenix rising. You don't want to go Phoenix rising into this again. You want to go into this. Okay. So let's see what we got here. With the tiny tarot. We got the wheel of fortune. Which is all about making a decision. Are you going to come up on top of the wheel? Or on the bottom of the wheel? Choice is up to you. Depends on which way you decide to move. With spirit. And that passion. Or with the world and their passion. Then we have. The nine of wands. Which is all about the wounded warrior. Because we've seen the mistakes of the past and where it's gotten us. And now we're standing. we got one more fight. And we're ready to do it for love. And then we have uh, the Six of Swords moving into calmer waters. And then we have the Hermit because you've done the soul searching. Congratulations, Pisces. I see you coming up and getting a handle on your duality and using it for the good of humanity as well as yourself. With that being said, blessed be, be blessed. Namaste.